Thank you, Tim. And hello, Newport Beach. Thank you. 
Ladies and gentlemen, Mr. Shane Savala on guitar. Mr. Brian Ward on the upright bass. And you're hearing Mr. Tyler Crutell on the drums. That leaves me, my name is Jason Fabus. Yes, it's famous, but not quite, with a B. And we are the Fabus Four. Looking forward to a great evening of music. Uh, this is gonna be all music written by yours truly, and I'm so happy to share it with you all. I can't see you right now, but I'm just gonna assume you're all smiling. And for those of you at home watching online, thanks for coming out online. And we hope you enjoy. Good to see you all. Thanks for coming out on a Thursday evening in Newport Beach. Thursday means live jazz and the occasional airplane. Do not be frightened by the airplanes. Uh, I have played here and had the privilege of playing here uh, several times, but never with my own group. So it is a pleasure to be here and bring my own music. And uh, with that, we're going to turn to a song that I wrote, I think, in like 2018 or 19. It's called Steph's Boys. My sister Stephanie has a couple of rascals that are now eight and five years old. And uh, we like to dedicate this to them. It's called Steph's Boys.
How about the band, ladies and gentlemen? I'm going to be honest with you. We do this day in, day out. We play shows, we play gigs. But whenever I have to do one of my own music, I get very nervous. I'm sitting here right now nervous. Can I actually get a little, uh, can I get some in my monitor here from my voice? I can't hear myself. I can't hear myself. Uh, I do have some special guests that are not here, and thank you, that's perfect. <laughs> Everybody, Jacob is doing our sound this evening. Thank you, Jacob. Uh, we have some special guests that are all the way back from in my hometown, uh, Milwaukee, Wisconsin. And that would be my mom, dad, and my sister, Stephanie. And I just, wherever they are, I want to wish them well. My parents are both uh, 70 and retired and loving it. Traveling the world and uh, spending all the money that they have left. And I tell them, you go right ahead and do that. <laughs> Meanwhile, my sister is... I don't know if I'm allowed to say this, but she's expecting her third child right now as we speak. And so, just so you know, that's what I'm going to be playing about tonight. Uh, I love my family, and I miss them every day, and a lot of what I'm doing out here is for them and expressing my sincerest gratitude of them. So, <laughs> Speaking of which, this next tune is a uh, rather tender one. It's called In a Little Log Cabin. It's a, a short little song. It's only nine measures long, but... We'll, we'll take some time with it. <laughs> but uh, I wrote this on the day that my Uncle Glenn passed away, and he had this gorgeous log cabin in northern Wisconsin. And so uh, it just the thought in a little log cabin kind of created a little melody line, and I went with it from there. So here's in a little log cabin. Thank you. 
in a little log cabin. Thank you. All right, we're going to switch things up a little bit. I'm going to head over to the piano over here, and we're going to turn it into a little bit of a piano jazz bar. Uh, has anybody out there heard the trio's album that we recorded last year called Another Standard? Recorded live at Shane's house, AKA Savvy Studios. Patent pending. And recorded and engineered by Mr. Brian Ward on Upright Bass. It was the three of us, uh, also with a special guest to be named shortly. And uh, we put that album out, I believe we recorded it February of last year and put it out uh, the last day of April, which is National Jazz Month. We figured April is a good time to put it out. So it's just about a year old almost. And uh, I'm happy to say it's over 500,000 streams on Spotify already. So that's a lot of pennies, folks, a lot of pennies that we made. Uh, we're going to do the title track off that album, and I'd love to sing it for you at the piano. Here we go. Check, check. Can you hear me okay? Boys, shall I start this one? It has a little story up front. Let's see if this thing works. start with a verse are you listening there's no need to rehearse everybody knows just where we are going but this one little theme it'll cause a great scene this is a great scene when you hear a flat 930 This is a standard kind of tune. It does just what you think it's going to do. Another standard with familiar form that has me feeling nice and warm. Then that bass starts walking when we get to the bridge. Feels so good, I think I'll say it over again. Oh, yes, this standard. No, it's nothing new. But gosh, it's so great when I'm playing it here for you.
Thank you. Shane Savala. Then that bass starts walking when we get to the bridge. Feels so good, I think I'll say it over again. Hot damn, this standard. No, it's nothing new. Big finish. Gosh, it's so great. Oh, I'm elate. Gosh, it's so great when I'm playing it here for you. Yes, you. I had to sing this song uh, last Thanksgiving when I went home. And it's a, I actually wrote it on the day that my mother's father passed away, Merlin. So it was the day that my grandfather died. And when I had to sing this last Thanksgiving, I had to sing it in front of my mom, who was watching the audience. 
And if she's watching right now, don't even tell me because I just I can't keep it together when she's in the audience and I have to sing this song. Uh, it all started the day that it happened. She gave me a call to let me know. And she just shared a very simple memory. And I find that it's the little memories that tend to linger the longest. And this was a simple memory of her sitting on a park bench with him with two bags of popcorn. Here it is. Popcorn, two big bundles of joy. A father and daughter on the old park bench, just a little north of Illinois. A landscape dressed in clover, river swimming with koi. A father and daughter on the old park bench, just a little north of Illinois. Now rain or shine, they make the time to be with each other. But back they steer when they hear a call from their mother. Daughter soon will grow up and find herself a new boy. Father will sit on the old park bench with memories he'll enjoy For in his life he just might see A couple great grandkids on his knee He's the real McCoy Just a little north of Illinois
Now, rain or shine, they make the time to be with each other. But back they steer when they hear a call from their mother. Daughter, soon she'll grow up and find herself a new boy. Father will sit on the old park bench with memories he'll enjoy. For in his life, he just might see a couple great grandkids on his knee. He's the real McCoy, just a little north of Illinois. Just a little north of Illinois. Ah, I'm talking north of Ill, love, north. That'll conclude the portion of my piano playing for the evening. I hope you enjoyed it. <laughs> oh my goodness. Who do we got back there? I can't see faces, I'm just judging by hair shape. And I think I know who it is. <laughs> We're gonna actually turn now to a composition that was given to me by our bassist, Brian Ward. It was a piano composition that he wrote and he said, I think we should try it with the trio. You can find it on our album, it's called Bird song.
A Little Bird Song by Mr. Brian Ward, ladies and gentlemen. I should shamelessly plug that he has, is it two or three piano albums now? Three piano albums that he put out on Spotify. So if you were wondering what he was doing during the pandemic, <laughs> it was falling in love with the piano. And yeah, listen to his first one that came out. I think it was called Solitude. Is that correct? Redwoods was the first album, my bad. I have to do my homework. But yeah, please, uh, a great way to support musicians nowadays, I always say our best uh, social media is, is Spotify. It's where we put our music online. So look us up, give us a follow, and we appreciate it. Uh, we are gonna bring up this so we had a very special guest. This is a cue for the audience. A very special guest on our album, and it's a longtime friend of mine. I met him... In fact, at my graduate recital, I think I met him in 2014. Please welcome from Texas, the great tenor saxophonist, Mr. Brian Clancy, to the stage. I was delighted to have him join us on the album. He actually played three songs out of the nine songs, so he's, he's one third of the trio. <laughs> and I guess now we have five, so we'll have to change the title to the famous five. Welcome, Brian. You look well. You clearly got the memo. Suit, no tie. Uh, we're going to open now with Brian on a tune called Poor Umbrella. I dedicated this one to whenever it rains in Southern California, and everybody has to pull out their cheap $10 umbrellas that break in the wind. Here's Poor Umbrella.
Welcome Brian Clancy to the stage. He's a handsome man with a handsomer horn. <laughs> Keep going. Yeah? Okay. Great friend, on time, great sight reader. He does it all. That's okay, that's enough? Okay. We're going to do a tune, uh, a beboppish head that I wrote in the great memory of a esteemed mentor of jazz musicians everywhere, Mr. Barry Harris. If you don't know who that is, look it up. Dr. Barry Harris, and this is a, he always talked about simple things. He said, I'm trying to teach you little simple things. So this is a song called Some Simple Things.
Brian Clancy. <laughs> Can you take one song off and then come up for the encore? Is that cool? I have a clock in front of me and we're running short on time, which is thrilling. Because <laughs> I was very nervous about an hour and a half ago. We're going to do a song that I wrote in 2020 and it's simply called Now. It's about living in the now <laughs> while also acknowledging the past and the potential future. That's what this song is about. Thank you. 
Thank you. Once again, Mr. Shane Savala on guitar. Brian Ward, upright bass. Tyler Crutell on the drums. Welcome back to the stage. Brian Clancy from North Texas. It's the last song, no kidding. It's a cheers from me to you about my favorite drink. Anybody know what it is? A little Tito's and soda.
Thank you very much, Campus Jacks, beautiful people of Newport Beach. Thank you for coming out. One more time, Mr. Shane Savala, guitar. Brian Ward, upright bass. Tyler Crutell on the drums. Special guest and dear friend of the band, Brian Clancy. Tim? And let's hear it for Jason Fabus. <laughs> 